All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy day of the census for all my California viewers. Um, the census is important, everyone, but what exactly is it? Well, to make things fair, for those of you guys not familiar with California politics already, a long, long time ago, the undersigned placed this constitutional provision that basically says that we have to track the population growth every 10 years on year ending in zero. But the truth is, it's not just used to track the population growth. It's also used to um, find out um, how many funds can be allocated towards various resources. It is like resources for those in need, that type of thing. But also it, help, it helps decide how many how many people can represent each county in the legislative area of our government. How many assembly members that we could send up to Sacramento. You see, 2020 is not just about the midterm elections coming up in November. It's about shaping the entire decade through the census. And... And today was the day that um, they officially begin counting all of that. So basically, um, you know, many countries um, have inserted some form or another, but the most common way it's conducted is a questionnaire. And that's basically what we've done here in California. We've had a questionnaire um that was literally sent out actually just yesterday so we got it in the mail filled it out and just filed it and now that that's done we don't have to worry about this until 2030 wow how different will i be then <laughs> anyways um at this point, uh, let me see. Let me get my calendar out and let me see. How many weeks have we been since the lockdown? As you guys know, the lockdown kind of began just before um, the Thursday before I uploaded week 14 on the 22nd. So 19, 26. So almost two weeks now. So let me show you guys. Uh, let me tell you guys um, how I've been. Um, a bit boring, right? So these sit down videos are kind of boring, but um, I know last time I actually the last video, of course, I recorded a voiceover and I did that and I put that up. So as I promised, so um, now that is up. So another update, the extra bonus footage will be airing from the end of April all the way through the middle of May. So I'm putting the bonus footage in that area. So that way I can at least have some other content so that it all doesn't have to be sit down videos until the lockdown gets lifted. So, um, and this is not the way that I've been planning to um, tell the news. I think I said this like a bunch of videos back, but this was the month that I was going to be filming um, and taking photos around the beach communities that we have around here, but that is no longer possible this month because of the coronavirus lockdown. All the beaches have pretty much been shut down, and they, they pretty much have a, a cop car at every possible entry point. That's how bad it is. So basically, um, it kind of reinforces, um, of course, um, so yeah, stay home, wash your hands, um, practice your physical distancing. Okay, let me tell you guys something. So actually, this is what the governor started to use this term now, physical distancing of at least two meters. Um, they said, they say two meters because, um, which is somewhere over six feet, if I'm correct, because our local radio stations are starting to air PSAs everywhere in like every single commercial block. Like there is, there is something like, let's contain this virus together or something like that. 
I mean, th I mean, this is what happened during the um, swine flu outbreak. Like, like there was a first wave, then there was like a second wave, and then there was a third smaller wave. And the same thing happened like um, during the influenza pandemic in like tw 19 something. There was a big wave, and then there was a second wave the following winter, and then there was a third smaller one, and then it kind of died down. And some people were predicting the same thing for coronavirus, but um, once again, we're trying our best to contain it. Um, and another update, they are putting, they are still developing a vaccine, and hopefully that goes in the, they want to put it in the clinical trials this summer, so... That's the latest report I've heard. But enough with the coronavirus discussion. I'm trying to... What was I going to talk about? The lockdown, yes. So, um, I have been watching memes and Minecraft Let's Plays, etc. And I came across Boffy. Um, mainly through um, a hardcore Minecraft series, which is like, uh, okay... And then if anybody's played hardcore mode in Minecraft, you know that it's kind of laid out similar to Battle Royale, where where once once you die in game, you never regenerate, and blah 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 blah. So that's that. But what's kind of weird is that um, Buffy started around to May of 2019. He's coming up on his first year at the end of his first year on YouTube in like a month, and. Just to be dead serious, he has like, ready for this? Over 500,000 subscribers in almost a year. That is pretty much one of the fastest growing channels I've seen. I mean, there is a possibility that I could try to do something Similar in Minecraft in the future, but that isn't happening at this point because it just take up too much space on my computer system as I have it set up right now. So there's that, and then I think I did create an Instagram live stream once, but then I oh uh, then I did something else, but then. Is that? And then um, I'm going to be putting up a bunch of more TikToks this weekend. So um, if you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, it's Air TSC. Um, pretty much Air TSC on nearly all my socials except Snapchat. Snapchat is tsc.snaps. But then you can go to my YouTube channel. There in the bottom right corner of my banner, you can just click on one of those icons and it'll take you, it'll take you straight there. So, in lieu of showing you guys the beach communities, I'm pushing forward some of those bonus materials from some of my previous vlogs. I'm pushing some of them up to mid-April. That was when I planned to do that, but then... Once again, because of coronavirus lockdown, that is impossible now until at least the summer when it's, well, the busiest. But I can't believe how people are going to spend the summer. Like, And then also, um, here in California, the governor just announced that the schools are actually going to stay closed until the fall. So um, all the schools are pretty much moving online. I mean, this is kind of why we have Google Classroom now, so. Like, if it wasn't for Google Classroom, like, what else would this world come to? But then I have bunches of photos from last summer, and I think I'm going to pretty much um, try to post some of those up. And then I have a footage from, I don't know how long ago. I, I'm... Trying to see which ones would work. So that should be coming around that time as well. So with that, though, um, that is going to bring this little video to an end. And let's go ahead and rule term of the week. Because 
all of the events have either been postponed or delayed or canceled or etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. the term of the week is going to be procrastination <laughs> procrastination has three definitions First one is the action of delaying and or postponing something. Two, the polar opposite of motivation. And number three, the result of not getting stuff done. The obvious example for, defini for definition number three is, of course, um, freaking out over a big assignment. I must admit that I have procrastinated at least once, maybe twice. And to fit definition number one of this term, I must admit that I have procrastinated uploading videos during the summers of 2018 and 2019. For 2018, I think I only uploaded like two. And then for 2019, I only uploaded like four when I wanted to upload about like 10 or something. But my advice is don't let procrastination get in the way this summer. That is, if you're trying to rise up as a content creator. So there's that for you. And then as I said, if somebody isn't motivated to do something, then they're procrastinating. That's literally what I'm trying to say. But with that, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this is a little more of a sit down video, uh, but as I said, these are probably going to appear a bit more often unless I have bonus footage from previous videos lined up and ready to go. And this will last until the lockdown gets lifted here in California. But thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, join the notification squads. Don't forget, um, stay home, obey all the public health orders, and then we'll get life back to normal and we'll, we'll be able to go out and make much more interesting vlogs for you guys. And um, uh, don't forget to wash your hands, practice that physical distancing. And uh, with that, uh, see you guys next video.